Hey Beans, and welcome to another video. There have been a ton of conspiracies floating around Animal Germ recently, and a lot of them were created by me, and in my excitement, I didn't wait for all of the facts, which was kind of fun in the moment, but we do have some new information that is kind of debunking a lot of my old conspiracies and moving me towards new theories that I want to share with you today. So this message in a bottle thing has been great for the conspiracy world, but it's been kind of bad for some of my videos because every time a new one gets released, it feels like it's a slap in the face of like, no, you were wrong the whole time. Here's new information. It's better. This is what really happened. So we have a brand new theory coming today from this message that we got and a few realizations I had. Today is November 6th and the people who were captured sent us a brand new message in a bottle and it says that they have been able to spy on the phantoms from their secret location. Now there are some cool things about this because if this was a ship like I'd previously theorized, well, there normally wouldn't be that many phantoms, and they probably wouldn't be, like, you know, all making plans on a ship and stuff. So I think a better explanation would be that they are trapped on the phantom fortress, and that's how they're able to spy on all of the phantoms, not just their captors, who obviously wouldn't be scheming right next to them. Whereas in the phantom fortress, you're forced to consolidate everything into this tiny little castle, and there's a chance that they could sneak around and get some key information. So I do think that it might be the phantom fortress. And also, a lot of people pointed out to me over the last few weeks after I made that conspiracy video that it was on a boat, that one of the alphas in the front lines adventure pointed out that the Phantom Fortress itself can actually move. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a boat. There are other means of transportation in the game. And it's said in the Daily Explorer by Animal Jam itself that the Phantom Fortress can move and it leaves like a, a thing of destruction in its path. But what I think is even more interesting than this information is that the gift is a lava table. This is a much bigger hint towards what I think is going to happen in the future. And if you just want, I'm just going to spoil it now. I think that there is going to be a phantom land. And I think that this volcano, which is actually already in the game, I don't know if you realize it, I'll talk about this later. I'm getting ahead of myself here. But we're going to move past this volcano and into this new phantom land that's been hidden from us the whole time. Ugh, I'm bringing up way too many things. Just stay with me and this will all make sense. So, like I said, the gift today is very important. It's a lava table. There's only one volcano in the game that we know of. There are a few times we've seen this volcano. The first is in Greeley's Inferno, where you travel up this path into a volcano. The second is also in the search for Greeley, when you go into the volcano and search for Greeley. And in Greeley's Inferno, the volcano spews phantoms onto you, just like the volcano in Falling Phantoms, leading me to believe that these are all the same volcano. And where is this volcano, you might ask? Well, let's look at this good old map that has helped so much with my conspiracy theories that Animal Jim put in play a while a while ago. If you don't know, this is a map that Animal Jim created for treasure hunts that actually shows all of Jamal and not just the little section that we're limited to. So, you see the volcano, right? Big deal. We basically know it's that volcano. It's just like a little volcano off of the island of Jamal that you can go visit. And if you want even more proof, you can watch some of the videos of Greeley's Inferno. When you're in this volcano, there's a scene in Animal Jam's little cutscene, and actually in the adventure itself too, where you can see Jamal in the distance, to the north. So we know that if Jamal's here, the volcano's gotta be down here, somewhere south of it. And then, we know that the Adventure Base Camp, you can see the volcano from it, and it's also north. So we know that if Jamal is here, the volcano has to be here, and the Adventure Base Camp has to be down here. Because you can see the volcano from the Adventure Base Camp, and you can see Jamal from the volcano. Now, this is very interesting, because again, let's take a look at this map. What lies below the volcano? This weird phantom land, and then some grass around it. And what's even more interesting to me is that every single adventure goes in order. You have the last of the land adventures, then the 2D adventure, then the front lines, the last 2D adventure, and then it stops. But it doesn't stop. The dead end is the Phantom Forest, so maybe in the future we can go into the Phantom Forest to do adventures there. And that would make sense, because this whole thing has been pointing to this is the Phantom Forest that we're leading to. The lava table represents that volcano. And the reason the bottles have been washing up into Crystal Sands is because they've been coming up from either the volcano or the Phantom Land onto the beaches of Crystal Sands. So geographically, it all makes sense. So when Greeley was spying on the Phantoms, remember that he was inside of that volcano. That's where he made his secret hideout, which tells us that the Phantoms are very close to this volcano, which makes sense because the Phantom Land is very close to this volcano. And I do think that geographically, this is what Animal Jam is going for. So anyways, back to my point about the adventures. They're all sequential, and it would be great for Animal Jam if they could just add that one little land and open it up so that we could go visit the Phantom Land and do some phantomy adventures down there. But now we get into the parts where I'm a little less sure, and I'm more asking questions than answering them. When we got the picture of the new toucan, there are two things we learned about it that are important to this conspiracy. One, it has green eyes, 
Two, it's artistic. All those things that everyone assumed were from Peck, like all the portraits and the mini splatter table thing, were very artistic and everyone assumed, oh, it's gotta be Peck. But then the little short that displayed the toucans turned out to show that toucans are super artistic and they love making art just like Peck. So now all this stuff that we assumed could only be Peck could also be the toucans. And even more, their green eyes match the eyes that are of the mystery character who has been sending us all of these messages in a bottle. So what I'm beginning to think is, we've learned in the past that Greeley may know the location of some new heart stones, or as they used to be called, spirit stones. And so what that leads me to believe is that just maybe he's gone out to search for the toucan heart stone, and that is why he's gone out there. And maybe he's found the toucans and spied on the phantoms in the process, but then when Peck went to go find him, she got lost as well and she got captured and now she's stuck in the Phantom Fortress along with the Toucans. So I'm thinking that there might not be a new land, but I think that there will be a new adventure base camp that will lead into the Phantom Forest, or maybe the adventure base camp will just extend a tiny bit and we'll just get a new Phantom Forest, because it would make sense if they released kind of like an adventure and then Toucans, but if they released an adventure, Toucans, and a land all in the same update, they could milk that a lot more. I mean, Animal GM loves to take updates and stretch them out as long as possible. Think about how long they tease animals. Like the toucan, they started off with a really obvious puzzle, then they say, congrats on solving the puzzle, then they say, oh look, toucans are here. That's three updates to add one animal to the game. And they do that for every one of the, what, like 30 animals? So I don't think it's Animal GM style to release all of that stuff at once. Now there's some other cool stuff in here. Peck's Den is a little weird. It's full of cool cave stuff and like awesome designs and then there's this one room that looks almost like a torture room it's like full of lava and chains and like iron and this gross stuff and you know what else is filled with that kind of stuff is Greeley's hideout so maybe they're hinting at this new site of Peck that's been captured and she's living inside of this new lava land the volcano and now at this point it probably seems logical to be like oh well we're probably just gonna get the volcano as the next place to do adventures in but then I feel like we've already done adventures in the volcano. No one wants to do more adventures in the dark. What we want is to be able to infiltrate the phantom land like we did in the very last of the land adventures and actually go figure stuff out and stop wandering around literally in the dark in a volcano. So that's why I think Animal Gem's gonna release some sort of new actual phantom land adventure where you can go and confront phantoms directly and actually be in their territory, go to the phantom fortress and save alphas. Because I do feel like the adventures up to now have been, been like the alphas training us but now we're finally at the point where it's like we can take our own stands we can we can fight our own battles boys and we can go and save the alphas and like prove that we're super strong or whatever animal jam wants to pull off there all right now we gotta address the elephant in the room people have been talking to me about this so much but i never knew what to make of it in the front lines sir gilbert says that it has to be her and we believe this is a reference to who made the phantom fortress so who could have made the Phantom Fortress? Well, there are three main female characters in the game. There's Tavi, Peck, and Mira. I may be throwing one out. I always forget simple things and everyone leaves a comment about it. I'm really sorry, but those are the three. Tavi is very unlikely. We barely see her. She's not a major player and she doesn't seem evil in the slightest. So I think she's out. So the question becomes Mira or Peck? Well, there are good cases for both of them. Peck, we know, has really strong ties to the Phantoms. Look at this awesome conspiracy by one of my great Instagram fan pages. This is a really logical way to look at it, using actual quotes from the game, that really supports the idea that Peck may have somehow played a role in creating the Phantom Fortress. But wait! Creating is also Mira's thing. Peck creates by drawing, but Mira actually summons things, and she created all of Jamal. Wouldn't that have to mean she would have made the Phantom Fortress? Well, no, because the Phantom Fortress, we've learned, can teleport and move around. So maybe it came from an outside world into our world through the Phantom Vortex, because the thing is, in the new lore, the Phantoms weren't created by Mira. It used to be that way that Mira created everything, but in the new lore, Jama was created afterwards, and then the Phantoms filtered in through the Phantom Portals, and now they're here, which means that I believe that would have been beyond Mira's reach. But then also, Peck wasn't alive back then. So uh, what do we do with that? Who is she? Who made the Phantom Fortress? Or maybe is this just talking about something else? So there you have it. Some geography, some messages, some quotes from the game, 
are leading me to believe that we are gonna get some sort of new phantom land adventure, and that this geography, this little part of the map that you see on Play Wild, is going to be revealed, and we're gonna figure out just what's going on with these captured animals soon enough. Animal Gym has been releasing these like messages in a bottle one every two or three days, which leads me to believe they don't have that many because they don't want to make it like the Sombra ARG and make it take absolutely forever until everyone's just tired of it, if anyone gets that reference. So they're probably going to release a few more and then it's going to get really, really obvious and I'm going to have to stop speculating and just start telling you guys what they mean and Animal Gym will tell us what it's all about. And then we'll get some sort of cool new update and it'll all be over with. So anyways, Beans, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.